This is keyword burst and it's kind of ugly. And for a while it didn't have a name because I was just using this for myself. Um, so it, it didn't have to be pretty. It just had to get the job done because I didn't even think I was going to be releasing it for anyone else to use. Um, now that I have, I've just kept the look of it. People don't seem to mind because it, it really does get the job done. And let me show you what it does exactly. So when we're setting up ad groups in Google Ads, um, there are some, some basic best practices to follow. Um, for one, you wanna separate keywords with different intents. So let's say we have a, a limo company. So we might have limos as a keyword, but if we're also targeting limo companies, we would wanna put that in a different ad group. And maybe we would have limo company in that same ad group. And then here we might have a limo rental, limo service, whatever we want to put here based on the keyword research that we've done. But the important part is to keep them in separate ad groups. Now there are also lots of variations of these keywords that we would want to include in a campaign, right? So specific uh, locations for sure. So uh, if we're in the Twin Cities in Minneapolis, we might have Minneapolis, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Paul, St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, Twin Cities, and other location related terms like local, near me, in my area, stuff like that. So what this is gonna do when we run the program, it's going to combine all of these locations with all of these keywords. It's going to put all the different combinations that are possible with these locations and these keywords. So let's do that quick and we'll, we'll take a look at what that looks like. And then I'll show you some other variations, uh, some other things we can do with this software. So this is going to put a, everything into a spreadsheet for us that we would then just copy and paste into our Google Ads account. And the spreadsheet uh, looks just like this. So we can see our first ad group here, limos. Also has Minneapolis limos, Minneapolis, Minnesota limos, etc. Also has limos, Minneapolis, limos, Minneapolis, Minnesota, limos in Minneapolis, limos in uh, St. Paul. And you can see some keywords are kind of weird, like limos in local. No one would probably search for something like that. But once we add these to the campaign, we can just go ahead and remove any low volume keywords and it cleans it up nicely. So at the top here are all the broad keywords. And then we get down to all the same keywords in exact match and then the same keywords in phrase match. Uh, one other thing this does is it adds a negative keyword for any keyword that is in another ad group. So if, if we were to just leave limos as a broad keyword, it would capture pretty much any search that we see on this page. But we already have limo companies as an exact match keyword in this ad group. So I don't want it to show up in my limos ad group. So what this program has done is it's added limo companies as an exact match negative keyword. So we're not going to get any contamination from other ad groups where we've already added those keywords. And it does this for every ad group. So this is excluding every exact match keyword that we find in any of the other ad groups. All you do is copy and paste this whole column right into your keyword list. It'll add the keywords and it'll add the negative keywords at the same time. So back to the program, let's look at some other things we can do. So in the first results, uh, the broad match keywords at the top were all completely broad. If we want to make some of those modified broad match, so there's a plus in front of them, we just add them to the crucial keyword list. So 
if we want limos and limo to be crucial keywords, we would just add them like that. And now when I generate the spreadsheet, limos and limo are only going to show up as broad match keywords with a plus <clears throat> with a plus sign in front of them just like this. So let's look at what else we can do. Okay, we could actually make all words crucial keywords if we wanted. Um, that's going to put a plus sign in front of every word in your broad match keywords, including the locations. Um, if you don't want to do that and you want to have locations as crucial keywords, you can put that here too. Um, we can also, if we want to limit the results, let's say we don't want a lot of, of broad match terms. We, we want to make sure these are very high quality keywords. What I can do is limit the results to only location keywords. And at the same time, I'll make all words crucial just to show you what that looks like. So now when I generate the spreadsheet, it's only going to include keywords that have a location name in them. So it's not including limos as a broad match anymore. It's only including the words with locations in them. And then the last thing I want to show you that you can do is you can just select specific match types if you want. So if I only want exact match keywords, with a location in them. That's probably about as specific as we could ever get. I'll generate that spreadsheet and it's going to look like this. A just exact match keywords and then negative exact match keywords from the other ad groups. And you can do the same thing with phrase or broad match or any combination of the match types you want. So that is Keyword Burst, a huge time saver. And once you start using it, you're not going to want to go back to any other way of doing things.